Hello folks, not to be outdone by Apple and Huawei, Samsung is planning to incorporate satellite connectivity options in its Galaxy phones as well, hints Lixter Ricciola. It is not hard to fathom why, as Apple made a big fuss out of something that won't be available until November and will work in limited ways only in the US and Canada for now. By limited ways, we mean it will take 15 seconds to send a simple SOS message in clear sky conditions or several minutes during overcast, yet Apple will be investing millions in new global SAS satellites to maintain and expand the service, so hopefully it will become more full-featured down the road. Still, the availability of satellite connectivity on your phone will become the norm in the future, and Samsung wouldn't want to be left behind. As to whose service it would use, this remains a mystery. With Apple hogging the vast majority of global stars network for its emergency SOS feature on the iPhone 14 and future iPhones, Samsung may have to turn to another satellite connectivity provider. In its recent SEC filing, Globalstar reported that it will provide 85% of its current and future network capacity to Apple and will be reporting record revenues as a result, so we doubt there will be place for Samsung's Galaxy Birds to land on that particular perch anymore. Rather than chasing Apple satellite connectivity providers, Samsung may turn to the able and willing Elon Musk, whose Starlink satellite service has already been in talks with Apple, even though the team from Cupertino ultimately went with Globalstar. Starlink, on the other hand, is in a broad how with the aspiring 5G network carrier Dish, which hogs a bunch of 12 GHz spectrum and wants to use it for terrestrial 5G network deployment as well. Elon Musk's SpaceX, on the other hand, argues that its Starlink satellite internet service needs the 12 GHz spectrum as well, but isn't excited about sharing it with the two-way 5G terrestrial network on the same band. According to SpaceX, the parent company of Starlink, the interference from this move could render its satellite service virtually inoperable, so it remains to be seen what would Samsung decide about it?